I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, generals. Today is November 16th. Here at Shiloh Middle School, we are all inspired, invested, and involved. I'm Anaya, and I will be your SMS anchor for today. All Shiloh generals exude pride every day. We are prepared. We have all our supplies and utensils. We are respectful. We show kindness to our teachers, peers, and everybody else around us. We have integrity. We are making good choices when no one is around. We are disciplined. We have self-control under any circumstances. And last but certainly not least, we are engaged. We are focused no matter what is going on around us. Students, don't forget that you are required to pass five out of six subjects each semester for seventh and eighth grade promotion. Language arts and mathematics must be two of the five subjects passed. Please be sure to have an official Shiloh Middle School Hall Pass when visiting the Media Center. And don't forget our Read Across the Genre Book Report Contest, where a genre is highlighted every month. The genre for this month is historical fiction. Historical fiction is a literary genre which the plot takes place in a setting located in the past. It is often inspired by history. Writers of this genre will incorporate, incorporate past events or people into their fictitious stories. Please stop by the Media Center to check out one of our historical fiction books. Secure a book report form, place your completed form in the blue basket located in the Media Center to be automatically eligible to win a prize. Students, our Shiloh Middle School Reading Passport Challenge has begun. Simply visit our Media Center widget located on our Shiloh Middle E-Class landing page to download your passport and access rules. Each time a student gets his or her passport stamped, he or she will earn a small prize. All students who turn in a completed passport will be automatically eligible for a grand prize. It is that time of year again. Our fall book fair begins November 29th through December 6th. All proceeds benefit our school. We hope to see you there. United Way Week of Giving is in full swing. Please be sure to give your donations to your homeroom teacher so that you too can join in on the fun. To today is Pajama Day. Today is the last day. Sixth grade, are you ready for our December Ice Jam? That's right. We're going to dance the night away with DJ Render on Saturday, December 11th. We hope to see you there. Students, stay connected with all the happenings at Shiloh Middle School. Check out our Eclipse page daily for announcements as well as our calendar on our website. The weather for today will be a high of 69 degrees and a low of 43 degrees with a 4% chance of rain. The lunch for today is hot dogs, homemade dip, and PB&J sandwiches. Have a terrific Tuesday and general salute. Good morning, Shiloh Generals. It's your proud principal, Dr. Shante Howard, here to tell you how much I love you, how much I adore you, how much I see the pride in you, and how much I love seeing how you model excellence every day. I'm going to give my quote of the day, and then I'm going to introduce me my wonderful guest here. Today's quote. If you set your goals ridiculously high and it's a failure, you will fail above everyone else's success. Keep that in mind. That was by James Cameron. So let me introduce my guest today. This is Dr. Gene Taylor. He is not only my executive coach, but he is an amazing friend. He has been my principal in the past, and I would like to just ask him a couple of questions. Dr. Taylor, is that okay? That would be great. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way, you will be seeing Dr. Taylor with me quite a bit this entire school year and next school year and the next school year and hopefully some more years after that because I love having him around. Dr. Taylor, what have you done in Gwinnett County Public Schools? Oh, geez. Um, I've been a school teacher. I have been a assistant principal. I have been the principal of four schools. Four. Um, four, um, including middle and elementary or middle and high. What schools were those? Um, it started at Cruz Middle School, and then it was Lilburn Middle School, and then Sweetwater Middle School, where I met the fabulous Dr. Shante Howard. Yes. And then Discovery High School. Yes. And then uh, since that time, um, I retired a lot sooner than I thought I was going to, uh, to help out with the family situation, which requires a lot of travel. And so since that time, I've been an executive coach working with amazing principals, assistant principals, and teachers in the district, helping them achieve their local school plan for improvement goals. So the goals they set 
working with, with you all to, um, to support you in any way I can to meet those goals. So, Dr. Taylor, you have a name for yourself in the county. You're called the Turnaround Principal. Wow. Why do they call you that? Well, a lot of people can say a lot of things, <laughs> so you don't want to listen to everything you hear. It's true, though. It is very true. But the I have been very blessed, and you know this firsthand, uh, working with some amazing uh, teachers and students as well as administrative teams. And with them all working together, we've been very fortunate to um, meet schools where they are, knowing that our students could achieve and our teachers could achieve more than they were at that time, and putting all of our efforts together, getting them to, in many cases, out-achieve schools that had many fewer stressors than the schools. Um, for instance, Title I schools, and Title I just simply means that um, a lot of our folks, I, for example, was a student that received free, and re free or reduced lunch when I grew up. And so that's why I liked working in schools where other students like me and my siblings um, received uh, assistance. My parents were working really, really hard, but it didn't seem to make ends meet. And so that's where we got a little help and we could put our money into, you know, paying for rent and paying for clothing and all that kind of stuff. So we, um, the schools that I work with then uh, are very similar to the schools I went to. And what we want to make sure is that we don't allow those stressors to stop us, any of us, uh, starting with your very wonderful principal, stopping us from achieving what we were born to be able to achieve. And so that's what um, th that's what I've been able to do is work with. And those. that's what you're here to help me with. That's I exactly right. That. That's right. And we're that's and right. we're doing it. And what an amazing team you have, yes, starting with your teachers. Well, actually, yes. starting with your students. Absolutely. You are an awesome um, student body. And I got to work with Dr. Dollard over at the high school for a couple years, uh, and have got, gotten to know the Shiloh Cluster and been thoroughly impressed with this community, thoroughly impressed with the promise of this community, what you all can achieve and have achieved and will continue to achieve, but even at greater levels. Um, so I'm, I'm just thoroughly impressed. Well, thank you for that insight, Dr. Taylor. I know that you're going to help us go reach new heights. Children, students, teachers, faculty, staff, do you see this? This is our love. This is our Shiloh pride. I'm wearing Shiloh pride every day because every day you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are amazing, you are five-star generals. Let's take a moment to thank Dr. Taylor. Well, thank you for, for being, being great generals. Absolutely. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you for being wonderful. Go generals, generals. Salute. Salute.